Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, I go shopping as a two year old. This is my fiance, mom. It is so good to finally meet you. Boy, do I have some funny stories to tell you about your soon to be wife. Mom. It's so good to finally meet you. I don't know why Mackenzie was gatekeeping me from meeting you, but it was silly. Whose side are you on? That's because she's scared I'll embarrass her with all the stories that I can tell. You have no stories. Oh, do I now? What about the one where you ran away from home? No, 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 no. The story should be called Two-Year-Old Go Shopping. Yeah, you know what? You know what? What, girly? Take it, bud. <laughs> Yeah, was that going somewhere? Seems like she was just trying to make herself look good. You know what? I'll ask again. Whose side are you on? Uh, I think your mom's. Ugh, oh, fine. The babysitter is gonna be here soon. I need to go to work. But mommy, she's so mean and her breast smells bad. Yeah, she's super scary, Mrs. McKenzie's mom, ma'am. That's enough out of the both of you. I won't hear it. She'll be here soon and you both better behave. Fine. See, he thought because she's not here yet. Moments later. Becca! Becca! Becca, over here! I don't know what. Ugh, shut up! The both of you! You're both so annoying! Can't you see that I'm trying to watch TV? Oopsies! Ugh, that was disgusting! I think you definitely have to change your diaper, Becca! Yeah, you definitely do! Ugh! A few moments later. Can't you morons go somewhere else? <laughs> That's it! Before I call your mother and tell her that the both of you are acting out. And that I never want to babysit here ever again. And that we'll see how much trouble you'll get in. Huh, fine. Why is she the actual worst? Because she's ugly and no one likes her. Okay, that's so mean, Sky, but probably true. Five minutes later. Hey, girly, what's this? Oh my gosh, that's a money device. What on earth is that? It's like a magical card thingy that has unlimited money. It's my mom's. What? We should totally use it to buy everything that we want. But will we get in trouble, girly? Nah. Your mom won't know? It's unlimited money. She won't even care if she did know. Okay, you make a good point. Plus, we deserve to go on a shopping spree to have to put up with that witch downstairs. Meanwhile. All right, where's the moolah, homegirl? Homegirl? I'm just playing. How would you like to pay? Hmm, I can't card this is awkward yeah it sure is especially since there's a lineup of people waiting to order their morning coffee looks like i have no money i'm really sorry <laughs> poor person that was awful becca yes could you look for my credit card i'll try give me like five minutes one eternity later uh i should probably call her back hey did you find it no uh, i'm coming home to look for it <laughs> back to tv time Meanwhile, ice cream, ice cream. Um, excuse me. Oh, uh, hello. Hello, down here. Oh. Hey, can we get some ice cream? Yeah, we really want ice cream. Oh, uh, where is your mom? Um, I um, she. She's in the car on an important business call, and she gave us her credit card to buy some ice cream. Isn't it a little early for ice cream? Well, you're open for business, aren't you? I just need to make sure that you're allowed to, but I believe you, so what flavors do you want? One chocolate, one bubblegum, one strawberry, and one vanilla. That's like four, though. Yeah, we need one for our dad. Okay, coming right up. That was genius, girly. Now we get to eat. Woohoo! Five minutes later. Ice cream! Ice cream! I can't sit still! Me neither, girly. I think this is what sugar rice thingy our mom was always worried about it. But it feels so good. Uh... Meanwhile. Hello? They must be out playing. <sighs> what a good babysitter. Oh, Mackenzie always forgets to turn off the TV. Ah! Hey, could you be quiet? My show's on. Yeah, whatever. I'm here looking for my credit card. I already looked and I couldn't find it. Ugh, all right. Where on earth is it? This is actually insane. Ugh, uh, not here. Ugh, not in here either. Ugh, I mean, of course it's not in here. That was pretty obvious. Well, there is one place I haven't checked. Mackenzie's room. Mackenzie! Mackenzie, do you have my... Huh? Where the heck is she? Becca! What? Jeez, can I watch TV in peace? There are Mackenzie and Scott. In Mackenzie's room, duh. No, they're not. Oh, well then, I don't 
don't know where they are. Ugh, you're useless. I don't need you for the rest of the day. Okay, but you're still paying me for the rest of the day, though, right? Paying you? You lost the kids. You're not getting paid anything. You're lucky I don't call the police on you. A few moments later. Girly, I can't play any of these games. I can barely reach the controls. Me too, girly. It's actually awful. Let's do something else. So much for thinking the arcade would be the coolest place ever. That was just you that thought that, silly. Not me. Shh, don't act like you didn't agree with me. Whatever, girly. Five minutes later. Hello, ladies. You look like some kids who have a good taste in toys. Toys? What kind of toys do you have? Only the best of the best, the pish of the posh, the diamonds to the jewelry. Really? There's no lies here, just the facts of the facts. So, what do you have? A box full of props. What kind of props? That'd ruin the surprise, wouldn't it? You can never know unless you buy magical boxes. But uh, we don't have any cash. But we have an unlimited money-making card. Show them. Show them. Ooh, let me just write down that information. Moments later. Ooh, and he does it again. Against all odds, the master of fools and the fools of masters. A few moments later. Whoa, there is so many things in this box. Yeah, I don't even know how it'll fit in here. Wait, why would we need a street sign? Uh, I think we got ripped off, girly. Man, this sucks. Yeah, you're telling me. Meanwhile. Mackenzie, Sky. Ugh, Sky's mom is not going to be happy when she finds out about this. I've literally looked everywhere. I wish Mackenzie had a phone. I wish I would have bought her one. I want phone. I want phone. You're funny. I'm serious, mom. Can you please buy me one? Not a chance. <laughs> In your dreams. But why? Because you're too young for a phone. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. End of discussion, Missy. We're buying phones, girly, because our moms think we're too young for them. Really? Heck yeah, we are. Let's go. Hey there, ladies. I'm sorry, but your moms aren't in the store, and we only allowed paying customers, so I'm going to have to ask you both to leave. What you know about us? We're high rollers. Yeah, we got the unlimited money card. Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to assume. You're lucky we're nice people. Thank you so much for forgiving me. I'm really sorry, and it will never happen again. I promise. It better not. Now, we want some new fancy iPhones. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's get you both set up with one. Moments later. I can literally watch unlimited YouTube videos and whatever shows I want on this. Not to mention, I can play Roblox wherever I go. And we can text each other like all the time, girly. I can't believe our moms were gatekeeping this from us. Me too. Whoa, I want one of those. Whoa, me too. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Always, girly. Three hours later. Hello? Howdy, how can I help you all today? We want matching snowmobiles. <laughs> We're being serious, Mr. Salesman. I don't doubt it, but I don't think you have the money. We have the unlimited money card, and we're willing to be double for them. Sold to the highest bidder. But mine has to be pink. Yeah, and mine has to be blue. Or no deal. Whatever your heart desires. A few moments later. Woo, girly, they are so fast. Whoa, I can barely get control of them. did you do? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It wasn't my fault. Was it your fault? What do you mean? You crashed right into it. Uh, this doesn't look good. That's what I'm saying. Your friend destroyed my barn. <gasps> oh my gosh, little pony. Can we buy one? I am, so let me get this straight. You destroyed my barn and now you want to buy my pony? Well, it doesn't have to be like that. Think of it like two girls just want to buy two ponies. We have unlimited money, so we can overpay. And you can keep both of the snowmobiles, too. You've got yourself a deal. A few moments later. The snowmobiles <laughs> are way more fun. Yeah, I agree. One hour later. Some of these are kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Hey, that's my prop box you stole. Uh-uh, we bought it. I'm calling the police. A few moments later. They stole my prop box and won't give it back. But we bought this. Oh, yeah? Where's the receipt? Um, it's, uh... We don't have one. Uh... That's it. You are both under arrest. Moments later. What were you thinking, Mackenzie? And you, Missy, don't you ever do that again, or else you are in big trouble. But it wasn't our fault. Becca is so mean and made us leave. Mackenzie is telling the truth, I promise. It's never your fault, is it? Yep, you can take ownership for your own mistakes. You're just lucky that this is the worst thing that happened. Several days later. Hi there! I would just like to pay off my month.
monthly credit card. Are you Mackenzie's mom? Yes, why? Well, you need to pay one billion dollars you owe on this credit card. No! Meanwhile... Ah, I love my brand new Lambo. Thanks to the random two-year-olds that I met a few days ago.